Hey everybody, it's Andrew back again with another video and today we have the full review of the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12, the 2-in-1 Surface Pro 4 competitor that may or may not be the Surface Pro 4 killer. Let's find out if it's a buy or a don't buy. Here we have our full review of the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12, a 2-in-1 Surface Pro 4 competitor that may or may not be the Surface Pro 4 killer. Let's find out if that's indeed the case. Let's find out if it's a buy or a don't buy. Well, here you have a 12-inch 2160 by 1440 resolution display, touchscreen display, that gets very bright with a maximum brightness of 432 nits. That's brighter than the Surface Pro 4, which has 382 nits, brighter than the Lenovo Mix 700, which comes in at 330 nits, and the Spectre X2 by HP, which comes in at 322 nits. This is a very bright, vibrant, excellent display. Good job, Acer, in execution of this display. Now, as far as ports, what do you get? Let's see, take it out off its type cover, and we'll get to that in a moment. So on the top of the device, you have a microphone there. On the front of the device, you have one front firing speaker there and the other front firing speaker. Webcam up front, we'll talk about that in a moment. And a rear facing camera on the back. You have a microphone headphone jack, USB 3.0, USB Type-C 3.1. It is not a Thunderbolt 3, which is a disappointment. This is your power port where you plug in your charger, except when you release the kickstand, you sh it reveals a micro SD card slot. On the other side of the device, you have your, your power button, your volume rocker up and down, your windows button, and your kickstand, which pops out like that, and it can go all the way back to like that. So very much like the HP Spectre X2, it connects into its type cover like that. Very strong magnet, good job in execution by Acer on that type cover and kickstand. As far as the type cover is concerned, it is excellent. I was very impressed with it and actually mildly surprised. It has very good key travel at 1.4 millimeters. It is very nicely backlit and it's very nicely spaced out, evenly spaced out island style keys. Altogether, a very good typing experience. When it's elevated on its typing angle, as you see there, very little flex, very good sturdy typing angle. Good job, Acer, on that. As you can see here, the backlighting is very nice. As far as the trackpad is concerned, I'm very pleased with it. It's actually pretty good for Windows 10 gestures. It has a nice size and it has good responsiveness. Overall, a pretty good trackpad. As far as performance is concerned, the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12 did very well. As you can see from the Geekbench test, it did a 2767 on the single core score and a very good 5906 on the multi-core score. Very good scores indeed. Remember, this is running an Intel Core i5 Skylake processor. It's the 6200U variant running at 2.4 gigahertz. And it has eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. Now, speaking of the SSD storage, on the Crystal Disk Mark test, as you can see, it did a 545.6 on the read and a 201.5 on the write. If you look at the 4K scores, it did a 23.56 on the read and a 76.25 on the write. These are very good scores, ladies and gentlemen. As far as cooling system that it uses, it uses a liquid loop cooling system. There is no fan on this device, which to me is a big benefit, a big plus. Good job, Acer. It does get a little bit warm on the back, but nothing to make it uncomfortable or unable to use. Indeed, it is liquid cooled and it is the only Core i5 that I know of that does not have a fan. Good job, Acer. As you can see from the Crystal Disk Mark test, the scores were decent. Although the write was a little low for my taste, it overall did okay. It's using a Kingston SSD and overall decent performance. You can do some gaming on this, not intensive gaming. You can do some 4K video editing, you can do YouTube 4K streaming, you can handle Photoshop, word processing, 
obviously those tasks will be fine on this device. Overall decent performance by the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12. The optional $50 Acer Active Stylus provides an easy way to draw or take notes on the Switch. From a distance it could easily be mistaken for regular pen and it felt like one in my hand. The Active Stylus has 256 levels of pressure sensitivity. Acer bundles the Acer Hover Access software. You can access OneNote, Fresh Paint, Snipping Tool, you can do the settings, show notes, sticky notes, and so forth. And then the settings, you can set it to open OneNote or so forth. You can launch different programs. Here I set it for OneNote. And there it goes, opens OneNote. Nice touch. I think it's their own special software. Obviously, Samsung did it with theirs with the Galaxy Tab Pro S. And here we have the same. And we also know, of course, that the Surface Pro 4, clicking the eraser on the top of the pen, on the Surface Pen, activates OneNote. So very along the similar lines, similar features. In order to test a pen, let's test it out with OneNote. And let's see how the pen fares as far as pressure sensitivity is concerned and palm rejection. So as you can see, I am saying hello. Pretty good palm rejection there. Drawing a straight line, varying the pressure, and varying the degree of the thickness of the line and so forth. So pressure sensitivity, palm rejection seems to work pretty well. Now in order to test the audio quality of the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12, let's take a look and a listen at the unboxing of this very same device about a week ago. And today we have a special unboxing. Just arrived in our studio is the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12, a 12 inch 2 in 1 tablet that will compete with the Surface Pro 4. It has a kickstand, it has a type cover, and it has a pen. Let's find out what you get inside the box. So as you can hear and as you can see it did play well and I couldn't get it to run 4K because I'm in a hotel room in Palm Springs, California and it's kind of spotty. So as far as the sound is concerned it is very good, it gets loud, it sounds pretty rich. So as far as audio quality is concerned it is a win in my book. Not everything is great with the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12 and in fact one of its worst features is its battery life. We're in 2016 and in my opinion, as you know from past videos, any device that is released as a Surface kind of competitor or Surface Pro kind of competitor has to have a minimum of seven to eight hours in my book if it's gonna be a viable option. This does not meet that requirement. In fact, it has some of the worst battery life I've seen on a two-in-one in a long time. I was only able to get about four and a half to five hours at most on this device. And that's a shame because it really hit a home run in all the other aspects of this device. Unfortunately, battery life was not one of them. And to me, a device that does not last seven to eight hours is not a device worth buying. However, there are some obviously great aspects of this in terms of the screen, which is being a very nice high-res screen, the fact that it gets very bright, the keyboard is excellent, the pen works great. Everything seems to work great except the battery life. And to me, that's where this fell short. But if you, can live without, if you can live without long battery life and don't mind taking your charger with you when you're on the go, then that might be something to consider. But to me, a two-in-one that can't last at least seven to eight hours or all day battery life, as I like to call it, doesn't meet muster. In this case, it did not do the job. I'm very disappointed in the four and a half to five hour range that this device was able to last. So overall, is the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12 a buy or don't buy? I'm going to have to say it depends. First, I love its beautiful 12 inch 2160 by 1440 retina display, which is a beautiful display that gets very bright, has excellent viewing angles, and really is very crisp, and the colors really pop and are very vibrant. Excellent job, Acer, on the screen. I also love its build quality. I love the brushed aluminum look. I love excellent aluminum build quality. Overall, very good. I also love the fact that it is liquid cooled and there is no fan, so there are, obviously there is no fan noise. A definite plus in that category. And I also like its performance. Its Core i5 did very well despite not having the fan and it didn't get overly hot, so that's a good sign. It did get a bit warm in the back, but overall did a very good job in terms of performance. The fact that it has a good SSD in it, although I wish the write scores were a little bit better. But what I don't like about this device, and again, this device came so close to being a perfect home run device is its battery life. 
Very disappointing, four and a half to five hours, especially in 2016, as I stated, where we should be getting a minimum of seven to eight hours. I don't care what anybody says, seven to eight hours has to be the benchmark. And here it falls far short of that. So if you're in a market for an all day device, this is not it. If you don't mind plugging in in the middle of the day and having to bring your charger with you, then this may be the device for you. It really checks the box in all the other departments. Again, screen, performance, quality, build, everything you want in a device. The pen is very good, as you saw in this demonstration. Although the Surface Pen was a little better, this did well in its own right, even though it has only 256 levels of pressure sensitivity, but it did well. And it really is a good value proposition in the fact that the type keyboard is included in the box. And it all starts at $699. So really is a very good deal if you don't need an all day device, which this is not, obviously. So it would have been a home run if it just did better on the battery life. Hopefully in its next iteration, Acer will improve the battery life to the point where I can say this is a home run device. But until then, I'm gonna have to say it is a buy with those caveats in mind. So take from it what you will when you're making that decision. So please leave a comment in the comment section below about this device and any other device you want me to review. I will try to make that happen. Stay tuned. We have a lot of exciting things here at AMD Tech upcoming. We have the Huawei MateBook. It's on order. It's on its way, hopefully, in the second week of July, which is coming up very soon. And I will unbox that as soon as that arrives in our studios and put it through its full paces for a full review. So stay tuned for that exciting device coming very soon. It's again another two-in-one that may be the Surface Pro 4 killer we're all looking for. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video, and until next time, this is Andrew. See ya. <laughs>